All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go um, mess with Charlotte's big old lump. We got some gloves. I have some, this is not saline. This is actually peroxide. I don't have, this is uh, an antibiotic. This right here is the needle I'm going to use to drain the, um, the lump. Here's some more peroxide and here's a spray for wounds since I don't have any, what was that stuff I was looking for? Iodine. Iodine. We're going to be using a 16 gauge needle to drain the wound if it is a hematoma, which just means a big blood clot. And I have some clippers here and a nice flashlight. It opens. Shave off her pretty new hair. Cleaner off with peroxide. Now I'm gonna stick this huge needle in her and feel really bad. Now I do expect this to hurt because this is big. Does she have food? Yeah. <laughs> She's not eating. Oh my gosh. Okay. So on three. One, two. Nothing is coming out. I'm sorry. Oh, there's the blood. I know it hurts, baby. You just keep eating. So I'm going to release the needle. Oops, I forgot to put my gloves on. I'm going to release this and then I'm going to squeeze this. So be careful. It's actually gone down some since we first found it. You see how it's not as protruding? But I'm still gonna try and squeeze. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. And nothing is coming out. I mean, it feels nice and firm. So. Maybe it's like a bruise or a lump, you know? Maybe. We have a goat who's pretty abusive, and I'm hoping that's all this is. See, but it's like somewhat up here. More up here so than down here. This is the whole thing. This is the um, antibiotic. And she won't like this, but. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it slowly because it's kind of cold. I know. Poor Charlotte. all in there. I'm going to try poking this one more time with this needle and the higher spot since uh, it's bigger up here. There it yes. goes.
baby girl. How much of blood you can take out? All of it. I'm running out of space. You are. Are you sure you're getting the blood in there? Yep. There's no vein here, so. Give me the other syringe. Go ahead. So I'm gonna switch out this big needle. For this small needle right here. Yeah. So watch out, it might work. Twist it on. Alright, now let's try suctioning. It's filling up still. That's okay, you can sit down. Put the camera on it. Look at how much smaller that is now. Mm. I know. Daddy's home. It's hard to tell how much blood is in here. Yep. We just started kind of like a few minutes ago. I said we only started a few minutes ago. Yeah. Everything okay? There's a lot of blood in there. We're getting yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me you think? Yep. Stupid sassy. We separated her today. What about the size of her old horns that are left? You know, that's probably, I don't know what's worth, but the stump she has for her horns. Probably the stumps. I think the stumps are probably worse because they focus the, the hit. She can get up too real easy. Look at that. I have 20 mLs in here on top of the other ones. Man. 20 plus 12 is 32. 32. She keeps moving. You want to help, babe? Hold her still. What? Nothing. She needs help. Ah, oh, we came out. <laughs> so every time I pull on the syringe, she gets antsy. But we're still filling up here with blood. This is a little hard to do with a huge syringe like this. How much blood did the other people get out? Uh, she said about a cup. Mm -hmm. Switch into an exacto knife. Hurry. Pull in a cutter. Not a cutter. You did? But I didn't puncture it. One, two. Puncture? I did. All right, I sprayed her with the wound spray and I shot a little bit of this um, hydrogen, peroxide. hydrogen peroxide, but I'm gonna use this needle to relocate that spot where I was getting the blood out from. So I'm gonna waste all this hydrogen peroxide and find it before I cut her again. Now I found it. That's bubbly. Yeah. One, two. There we go. I wonder if we got most of it out with the needle. Because a bunch just came out and now it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. So. You're sorry.
All right, guys, we're gonna leave it like this and we'll check it tomorrow and see what it looks like. And I will definitely show y'all and give you an update. It is the next morning after operating on Charlotte or taking out all that blood. And the kids told me this morning that she didn't want to eat at all. So I'm going out right now to check on her and see how she's doing, what she looks like, how the lump looks. And we're gonna try and feed her a little bit later again and see if she'll eat. It is a little cold and damp and the sun's starting to come out though so I'm hoping this will change her attitude and her mood today. <laughs> but this is where Charlotte sits when she is not happy, does not feel good. How are you Charlotte? Let's check your bump. Alright, it's definitely a lot smaller today. And I don't want to mess with it a lot because the places where I punctured have reconnected together. And I don't want to open that again. But I don't know. Do you want to get up? Come on. Come on. Let's get up. Good girl. Good girl. Yay. Oh, look at her leg is back to limping a little bit. This is the side where I injected her. So I wonder if that affected her leg a little bit. Come on. As you can see, she's holding it up and will not put it down. Come on. Show me what you can do. Come on. Yeah. Look at that. She doesn't want to put it down. So, but here we have a look at this. And like I said, it's a lot smaller. We can compare from yesterday. I'm not sure. Let me try and get a good angle. See how it's not popped out as much. That's way better. But like I said, she's not eating her breakfast. So I'm going to come back a little later. And we will try again. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better and you start eating. The sun's out. It's a pretty day. But she has been putting on a little bit of weight. Animals can lose weight really fast, but it's a lot... It takes a lot longer and it's a lot harder to put weight back on them. But I can definitely see there are some changes on top even. And because some of her hair is growing in, I think that helps where before where she had a lot of bald spot, it made it look even worse. But we are on the mend. One more thing I am noticing here is that her diarrhea is dry. There is no wet poop. So um, when I come back out later today, we'll also look on the ground and I will be checking her to see uh, if she still has diarrhea. But we are going to continue the antibiotics and I think I'm just going to have to give it in a different location. Not by this leg. This is the leg that she has had problems with. So I should have not given it here to begin with. I should have probably gave it somewhere else. But I'm hoping whatever this is will um, work itself out. And we'll see. But I want to get a good look at her here. We can kind of see here. Her bone is right here and here. It, it doesn't, it seems dislocated or something. I don't know. So my thoughts on Charlotte right now are that one, her leg probably hurts. It doesn't feel good. And a lot of times when we don't feel good, we don't want to eat. And I'm hoping that's what it is. Second, I am wondering if when she got her butt kicked yesterday, probably by Sassy, if Sassy hit her on that side and hurt her and gave her that hematoma and then also dislocated her leg. A little disappointing she was eating last night though before we uh, messed with the hematoma and before I gave her the antibiotics like I said I'm hoping as the day goes on she'll have a different attitude and maybe start to feel a little bit better and I'm a little nervous because I do have to give her another dose of the antibiotics and that'll go on for seven days that's how long it is recommended that you give it to them but we can see already her diary is cleared up so I'm pretty sure that the antibiotic is helping get rid of that. 
I ended up making it outside later in the day than I wanted to. But we're gonna go feed the pigs and check on Charlotte and offer her some food. You are they? Mm -hmm. We got Charlotte out and she wants Where's to eat. Move, baby. <laughs> Jeremiah, <laughs> booty bump him. That's what I always do. Sultan. That's Jeremiah, can you play with Sultan? Uh -huh. This is what she looks like. I'll give you a shot from the top. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> Go play. play. It's not sticking out as much. So I did some research and this could fill up again with blood, but it doesn't look like that's the case. In fact, it looks a lot smaller. And by draining it, we were. Look, she's walking on her leg, yay. She walked off, so I brought her food to her. So if you look right here, this is where she looks off. This is sticking out and this is nowhere to be found on that side. Even aside from her hair, very weird. But I have a friend who raises goats and she says that the goat's um, leg should realign itself on its own, not to mess with it. So I am not gonna mess with it in the sense of like me trying to put it back, but I am going to massage it here and there and just kind of help bring the blood to the pressure. You could put a cold pack or a warm pack if you wanted to on this but I'm not going to. <laughs> That's a love-hate relationship there. He takes care of them, but harasses them. I'm gonna try and put molasses in here and see if she'll eat it. I'm gonna try and give her her food and hopefully she likes it because it has a little bit of molasses. Do you smell the molasses? Come on. Yay, it worked. Let's see if she finishes it. I guess molasses makes everything better, huh, Charlotte? So we specifically wanted to stop feeding her corn because it does not have a lot of the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that she's needing and lacking. And I had mentioned before that I wanted to give her some of these types of foods, the um, goat feed. I want to do barley, but right now we have oats and then we have goat feet in there and if she didn't eat those we were going to try adding molasses to it i want to wait for her to finish eating before i give her her shot that way i don't disturb her eating and she's um oh that's nice and warm johnson was holding this and she warmed it up because it's fresh out of the fridge but it'll go in her nicely i do want to mention that the hematoma can go down by itself and it may take a couple of weeks to a few months but it definitely can go away on its own unless it's really big and other circumstances i suppose would keep it from going away but like i said they can go away well she stopped eating and i would say she ate about half of it which is okay with me because jesse throws feet in there she might have got some might not but I will, I will save this for her for tomorrow and yes she is grazing so not a big deal but now it's time for this this might upset her All right. Went in a lot faster than the other day. <laughs> 